Evening skies should be clear tonight here in Miami. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. On a humid night for baseball, MLB The Show welcomes you to the Sunshine State, Miami, Florida, the site for this edition of Major League Baseball. We've got a good matchup in store for you here, as it'll be the San Francisco Giants taking on the Florida Marlins. And hi again, folks, alongside Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. I'm Matt Vaskersian getting set for an intriguing matchup here. Rex, let's begin with you. What are you going to be keeping your eye on in this ballgame? Well, we've got a dynamite starting pitching matchup in this one, and that often means that runs are going to be hard to come by. The team that gets the early lead might be able to hang on. All right, Rex, and we'll hear from Dave shortly, but first it's time for the majestic starting lineup as we check the order for the visiting San Francisco Giants. And Fred Lewis is a guy that's starting to come into his own. He's got a good bat and a nice set of wheels. A square off against a surprise 15-game winner for the Marlins in 2008, right-hander Ricky Nolasco. Here's a look now at the defensive alignment they'll have to contend with. The leadoff hitter makes his way toward the plate, and we are ready for baseball. And the first pitch is taken for ball one as we're underway tonight in South Florida. First pitch, 706. Swinging a soft liner towards first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Randy Wynn will be the batter. First pitch here is reached for and hit on the ground to third. Throw will get there in plenty of time to put away win, and that's out number two. So with two gone now, it's Aaron Rowan. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. And here's a fastball that looked pretty good, but it's one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And that misses, and we're even at two and two. And if you throw enough fastballs in succession, guys are going to time it, so be careful. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Ready with another 2-2. Swing shot back up the middle, and that'll get down for a base hit. Benji Molina will stand in looking to extend his modest six-game hitting streak. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. And, and getting this guy going is going to be a real key if these guys want to turn things around. There's a drive, high 
high in the air and deep to left center field. But that'll be off the teal monster out there in left. And a relay home. And he will be safe at the plate as he just beats the tag by Rodriguez. Man at second here with two away. And digging in is the left fielder, Fred Lewis. And a ball, 1-0. Change up low, 2-0. and oh. I'm pretty sure he's going to have a green light here, 2-0, and oh, especially with a guy in scoring position. Come on now, let's go. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. He's set, now the pitch. And that's in there on the high outside corner, two and two now. Now a swing by Lewis as this is sent on the ground to second. Throw is in time and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. San Francisco leads this one, one to nothing. Uh, look there at the Marlins starting lineup as put together by their skipper, Freddy Gonzalez. And Pudge Rodriguez may be winding up his career, but his bat is still lively. Don't overlook him. And getting his final warm-up tosses in is an instantly recognizable sight on the mound. The ten-time All-Star, the five-time Cy Young Award winner, the big unit, left-hander Randy Johnson. And there you see a look now at the Giants' defensive alignment behind him. Into the box here is the shortstop Hanley Ramirez as he'll lead things off in the bottom of inning number one. Yes. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Swing and the ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. And this is hit well towards the hole. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit. And this is a good sign right here. You give up that first run in the top half, but you come out swinging the bats to begin the home half trying to get that run back. Cody Ross will stand in. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And this is low, but Molina is able to prevent it from getting away. But fortunately, no advance. Over to first by Randy. 
And the runner back safely. Here's the 1-1. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. And now this is bobbled in left. Manny Ramirez, the big in now with a possible tying and go-ahead runs in scoring position here. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Got to at least be thinking sack fly here if you're at the plate. Fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. One and two now. And this is a strikeout pitcher on the mound, so you know he'll be gunning for one here. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And that's past the diving infielder for a base hit. One run scores. The throw to the plate. And not in time as the second run scores. Dan Ugly will take his touch now. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. And this is what he needs to do a little more of. Establish that heater early in the count. Now a splitter and he lays off a ball and a strike. And that thing just nosedives at the end. A runner at first with no outs here. Runner at first, Manny, the pitch. And he looks at one in there, one and two. I need to be a little more aggressive up there. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And even with two strikes, that's not a tough pitch to lay off there. And now this is swung on and pulled down the third base line. Throw by Sandoval is in time, one away. So a runner on second with one down now. And that'll bring in the right fielder, Jeremy Yermita. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. He's set, now the pitch. And a check swing here. They'll appeal it down to third. No swing, says Woody Keller. It's ball one. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to the second baseman, Burris. Oh, and Burris can't handle it. He could have given up on this one, but he regrouped and got his man anyway. So a man at third here with two gone, and standing in is the first baseman, Wes Helms. And here's the ball out towards third. 
straight away center field. And Rowan will make the catch, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. The Marlins lead this one 2-1. to one. And so now that'll bring in a guy whose base hit won a World Series here in South Florida, Edgar Renteria. First pitch coming. And this is low, ball one. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Pablo Sandoval will stand in for the first time here. Now the first pitch. Swing swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. Ross is back though and he's there to put it away, two down. Travis Ishikawa will step in now. Not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. Boy, where'd that miss? Rough way to start an A-B on the mound. Now it's 2-0. And, and let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. And with the pitcher on deck, you'd love to get this guy here and make the pitcher lead off the third. Now the two one pitch. And this is hit hard up the middle. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Well, a good two out at bat right there, and at the very least, this will allow the pitcher to hit now instead of having to lead off the next inning. Randy Johnson will get his first opportunity now. Randy Johnson. Zip to the fastball there by Nolasco, and it's nothing in one. Two out with the man at first. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. doesn't look this one in and it'll be scored as a rare passed ball against him but surprisingly no advance here lays off the one two change up and he's worked it back to two and two and he knew on that zero and two count he didn't have to throw him a strike at least not right away but on two and two now I think he's gonna have to come in with one Ball as he just reared up and let that one fly and the inning is over. Giants leave one. They still trail it here two to one. Jorge Cantu will start things off in the bottom of the second.
fairly generous strike call there on a pitch that looked off the plate at strike one. And now that you've seen what that strike zone's going to be like, you're going to have to adjust. Here's the pitch. Late swing as this is laced down the line, but this will get foul for strike two. This is sent high and deep to left field, and I don't think this park or any other will hold that ball. That one is gone. So a solo shot for Jorge Cantu. 12 home runs for him now thus far. As they extend the lead a bit, it's now 3-1. to one. And now here's a ball grounded, fouled over toward third. And now pitch on the way. Hit hard to the right side. But foul. Base is empty here with nobody out. Now here's the pitch. Low and away with that one. It's one and two. Yeah, with two strikes, that's a tempting pitch not to chase. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. Ishikawa is over and he puts it away for the first down. Ricky Nolasco will get his first cuts here. First offering on the way. Good movement to the fastball there, and Johnson's ahead, nothing in one. Good setup there on the inside part of the plate. If they're smart, they'll keep trying to lock him up in there. One out, nobody on. Right, and he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. And when you got to pitch your 0-2, I think I'd try to make him chase something here. Pitch on the way. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. And a fastball from the big unit, and that's by him for strike three. Hanley Ramirez will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. First pitch coming. In there, 0 and 1. And sometimes when you're a leadoff hitter, go ahead and take a pitch. Let your pitcher catch his breath for a second. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there. One and two. Just rearing back and throwing the heater by him right there. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Ball and where did that miss? Two and two. Oh, 
And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. Two out, nobody on. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Ball three. Three and two now. Oh, and these two guys are locked in a battle now. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Now a ball hit sharply down the line at third. A diving try at third, but this is by him. A fair ball. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So one run here on two hits, including the home run. No errors and no one left. We played two full. The Marlins on top, three to one. Emmanuel Burris ready to go here as we begin the third. Here's the first offering. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line and left. And he will make the nice running catch out there as he had to travel a long distance to rein that one in. Randy Wynn will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Let a good pitch go by, but at least he gets a sense of how quick that fastball's getting on him. Here it comes. And he misses with it one and one. Trying to work him down the zone. That's just where you need to keep that fastball. Third inning here. Three to one our score. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. And the pitch. And that misses two and two. Yeah, and when you miss wild like that, it certainly does not help you set up your next pitch. Three and two now. Well, he's determined to get him to chase that slider sooner or later. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Aaron Rowan will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Now the first pitch, and he takes ball one. Might have wanted to go up and get that one, but wisely laid off. On the move now is Wynn. Pitch swung out and missed the throw, and it will not be in time, and Wynn's able to foil the pitch out. Well, they had the steal attempt snuffed out, Good call on the pitch out there, but they still couldn't gun him down. Runner at second here with one man out. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Fouled straight back. And this is taken high for a ball and that's just a bad call there should have been strike three instead it's two and two mm. and he
and he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. And too many three ball counts early in the ball game will just drive that pitch count up. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to first is going to get Rowand, and that's out number two. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and in comes the catcher, Benji Molina. Swing and a liner. Hit hard, but foul. Shooting for the outside corner, but he missed it one and two. Comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Marlins lead it three to one. Cody Ross makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. Whoa, he may not see one better than that. Hit hard down the left field line, but a foul ball. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw by Renteria in time for route number one. Well, as you know, after giving up runs in both the first and second innings, he could really use a good one, two, three here in the third. That's a good first step. So one away here in the inning for Manny Ramirez. Here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Bases are empty, one man out. And, oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at 1-1. One and one. Oh, and Manny didn't like that one, and I can't blame him. Look into Molina, now the 1-1. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. And now a swing and a routine fly ball out towards center. Right there is Rowand. And he's got it for out number two. Dan Ugla will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. The pitch. 
and a swing and a miss as Ugla falls behind here quickly 0-2. And, and that thing's looking a lot sharper now here in the third inning. Bases are empty here with two men out. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And Ishikawa takes it to first himself. With it, the inning is over. Some vintage big unit right there as he certainly still got it. Three innings complete. The Marlins lead this one three to one. Fred Lewis will stand in. He grounded out his first time. on the outside corner for a strike. And he could get that average up over 300 if he could come through with a base hit right here. Here's the pitch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Sign of a smart hitter right there. Lewis is able to lay off that one as he moves in front two and one now. Boy, he might be saving that slider again until he gets to two strikes. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. And this is taken in by Manny for the first out of the inning. Well, Manny, as you well know, can sometimes turn things into an adventure on fly balls out there. But he makes a nice running catch that time. Leadoff man gone, and now it's Edgar Renteria. Here's a fastball called for strike one. He's got to drive that fastball the other way. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Now here's the pitch. Hit hard to the left side. In there, a base hit. So a runner at first with one man gone. And standing in now, the versatile Pablo Sandoval. off for second. Swing a ball hit on the ground. And past the diving infielder, that's a base hit. And he'll make it over to third base safely, so that puts runners at the corners with only one gone. So first and third with one away, and that'll bring up the first baseman, Travis Ishikawa. Curveball just misses, apparently, 1-0. Expect him to work down in the zone here and try to get the ground ball. The next pitch. Now a possible double play ball for Ugla. Ramirez back to first. Did he keep his foot on the bag? He did. It's a double play, and the inning is over. 
So no runs here on two base hits, no errors, and a runner left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Florida's out in front, three to one. Jeremy Hermida will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. Swing and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third. Sandoval is underneath this one and he puts it away for the first down. Wes Helms will try it again. He flew out his first time. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Hits are even right now at five a side. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Now he's going to have to make an adjustment at the plate, maybe take a little length out of his swing. And he misses there, 1-2. and two. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. And this pitch is swung on and hit routinely on the ground a second. Throw on to first gets him as the unit sets down the first two men in the inning. And so two are gone now for Jorge Cantu. Here's the first pitch to him. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. And when you've been around this long on the mound, sometimes that's what you call a respect strike. And he goes down to get the fastball there, but I don't think he got all of it as this is out to deep center field. Rowan will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. No problems there for the unit. He's still down, though, by a count of 3-1. to one. Randy Johnson will step in. He's 0-1 for 1 thus far. Randy Johnson. Too low with the curveball. One ball, no strikes. That was a good spot to miss. That thing fell right through the bottom of the zone. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. Well, here's where that old phrase, a walk is as good as a hit, really applies. Just get on somehow. Right. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Too high as he misses again here, and it's 3-0 now. In just one walk in the game so far, but he's staring at a four-pitch walk to start the inning right here. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. And he's just waiting until he gets a strike. Not a bad decision to start an inning. Three and two now. And this would be a big comeback down three and off. Oh, he could get another strike here. The 3-2 pitch. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. 
Made it all the way back from down 3-0 to get the strikeout. And you go back to taking that 3-0 pitch, in hindsight, I bet he wishes he was swinging. Emmanuel Burris will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. And he looks at a ball, 1-2. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. One out, nobody on. Now here it comes. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Now a swing and a ball grounded foul off to the right side. All right, here we go. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Randy Wynn will stand in, base on balls his last time. Ball one. Now a fair ball chopped up the line to first. On to first with it is Helms to end the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Marlins lead it. Three to one. Pudge Rodriguez will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. And Porter Callahan will give you that high strike, so you need to be aware of that at the plate. Now here's the pitch. Now a swing and he pops it foul behind the plate. And Molina will watch this one in for the first out. Ricky Nolasco will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1-1. And look how calm he looks out there. His tempo looks really good right now. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. And, and he's in that mindset now where he can do just about anything he wants to. Oh, look out! Up and in and nearly took his head off. 
Ooh, and he might have seen his life flash before his eyes there. Pitch on the way. Got him. Hanley Ramirez will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. On the corner at the knees, 0-1. And you can tell he's really in his zone out there now. And Ramirez can't get that one as he swings and misses for strike two. Boy, and he's breezing through this inning too. And Ramirez is able to hold off on that one, but he still trails in the count. It's one and two. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball on the ground for Renteria. Throw on to Ishikawa at first, and the inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Five innings complete. The Marlins lead this one three to one. Just about set to start things in the sixth, but before we do, let's check out the Giants' in-game box score brought to us by Upper Deck. Aaron Rowan will stride in, grounded out his last time through. First pitch on the way. Too low, 1-0. and And let's see if he can maybe get a little offense going. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. And all this good work on the mound so far can be undone with one bad inning. So focus needs to be sharp right here. Here's a swing and heads up as he had to hit the deck for dear life that time. A swing and a ball popped high in the air into foul territory behind first. And there's out number one. Benji Molina will dig in. One for two with a double in this one. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Slice down the line at first, but a foul ball, one and one. Now the one one. And he takes a called strike two. And even though he's pitching well, this is the part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Swings and misses that time as he's a strikeout victim here, two away. Well, he's made it through two-thirds of these three, four, and five hitters. Let's see if he can set them down in order. Fred Lewis will stand in. He flew out his last time up.
And that misses ball one. And I was about to call this a strike, but apparently not. It's 2-0. Oh, that's a strike! Take sign must have been on there, because that's right down the middle, strike one. Ah, boy, when you're a middle of the lineup guy and you get a good one to hit 2-0, and oh, you got to turn it loose. We're in the sixth inning here in a 3-1 to one ball game. Strike. Now a fastball for a strike, and from 2-0, and oh, it's back to 2-2. Two and, two. and if he can get through this guy, that would be back-to-back 1-2-3 -back innings. on the ground a second. There to take it is Ugla. Throw on to Helms at first and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Marlins on top, three to one. And before the Marlins take their cuts, it's time once again to check out our in-game box score. Cody Ross will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. And he lays off for ball one. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. Ball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Make it 10 straight guys retired now as he gets the leadoff man here to start the inning. Manny Ramirez will stand in. He flew out his last time up. In there, no balls and a strike. And you can see him starting to make adjustments on the mound as this game has gone on. Here it comes. Outside for a ball, one and one. And this is where you hope for an umpire with a wide strike zone, but he did not get the call. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. And now on the mound, you lose the advantage of strike one by missing with two straight. On, Swing, hard hit ball to second. Therefore, it is Burris. Throw on to first, and they're able to take care of Manny two away. Dan Ugla will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Oh, 
And that's in there for a strike. Might have just been looking at one there because that's the pitch you can normally handle. And now pitch on the way. One and one. Split-fingered pitch that's by him for strike two. And there's that splitter again. It's getting better as the game goes on. Two out, nobody on. Now the slider hit pretty well, but he might have got under it just a bit as this is out toward deep center. Rowan is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One, two, three go the Marlins, but they hang on to a three to one lead. Edgar Renteria will dig in, one for two thus far. Now a swing and a ball grounded foul down near third. takes this one high one and one and even though he's spinning a gem he's still gonna need to avoid that home run ball so location is still going to be important and this is hit to the right side but it'll wind up foul down the line at first The pitch. Ball two. Uh, Pudge is normally the master of framing pitches, but he just could not get the call there. Hit hard towards second. And that's going to be a base hit for Renteria. Lead-off base hit here is going to bring the tying run to the plate here in the late going. Now the wheels are really going to start to turn in both of these dugouts. Pablo Sandoval will be the batter. One for two thus far. First pitch coming. Now a possible double play ball for Ugla. And a dive by Ugla, but it's by him for a base hit. Well, if you're looking to tie up a ball game, these are the kind of approaches you need to take at the plate. And now back-to-back -back singles have put the two tying runs on base. Here comes Marlin skipper Freddy Gonzalez on his way to the mound. And that's going to do it now for Ricky Nolasco. So he'll leave with the lead. Can't lose this one, but he is responsible for the two runners out there, so he could get a no decision if they were to come around and score. A new pitcher coming on now. It's the former Crimson Tide standout, left-hander Taylor Tankersley. Travis Ishikawa will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. He's ready now. The pitch. 
Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. And he is really under the gun now. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. And he pulls back the bunt attempt. Two and zero. Oh. And you wonder, sooner or later, when is the big hit going to come? Squares around, but he pops this one up. Pudge is there, and he'll bring this one in. Nate Shearholz will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Number 12, Nate Will be grounded foul down the line at first. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. And he's working hard from the neck up right now. Wing, hot shot to the left side. That's in there. Base hit. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. And we'll have a visit from the pitching coach here. And he's got to be saying, come on, quit laying it in there, meat. Emmanuel Burris will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Now a ball hit high and deep heading toward the corner and left. And Manny can't get there. It's a foul ball. And that misses one and one. One one on the way. In there, one and two now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. So two away now in the San Francisco seventh. And that'll bring in the right fielder, Randy Wynn. Fast ball, probably could have gone either way, but ruled a ball, 1-0. and oh. And this is the guy you got to get right here. Let's go! Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. And even though it's just the seventh, the game could very well hang in the balance right here. Swing and he just fouls this one away. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Ah, and this could wind up being a make or break pitch right here. The 
The 2-2 coming. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. And now's a spot where you need to come up with your best pitch on the mound. Big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base and after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Time to get up and stretch here in Miami. Florida's out in front, three to two. Keiichi Yabu is gonna come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Your attention please. Now pitching for the Giants. Number 22. Jeremy Hermida to step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Curveball taken outside to begin the at bat. Ball one. Cold strike at the knees, one and one. Hermida awaits the one one. Hard hit towards center. And it was sinking on him a bit, but he's able to run it down anyway for the first down. Wes Helms will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And that misses low and away, bowl one. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Hey. Fastball called strike, one and two. And he's given them three straight fastballs, but it could very well be the curveball they call on here. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Jorge Cantu will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Fastball in there for a called strike. And this guy's home run earlier in the game has been their only extra base hit so far. That finds the target, nothing in two now. Oh, and they got him all confused now. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there and the inning is over. So nothing happening this time around. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Marlins lead this one three to two. New pitcher is set to go now. It's the young righty out of Texas A&M, Logan Kenzing. Aaron Rowan will stand in. He popped out in his last time. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. 
And now the heart of the order is going to get one more kick at the can here. Let's see what they can do. Now here it comes. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. And that's the tying run at the plate, so I don't think he was trying to go after him. Outside, two and one. And these guys could really use a leadoff base runner here. And he missed again, high and away this time, three and one. And with a potential tying run at the plate, you can't give up a leadoff walk here. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. There to play it is Hermita as he puts it away for the first out. Benji Molina. Benji Molina will get another crack, one for three thus far. And this is on the ground toward the hole. And that is through into right field for a one-out single. Pinch runner coming on now as the doctor, Dave Roberts, takes over on the base pass. Now running at first for the Giants, number 10, Dave Fred Lewis will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Fred Lewis. Throw over to the bag, and he'll dive back in safely. First pitch to him. Roberts goes. Pitch is high. The throw right on the bag. And Roberts is going to be out trying to take second. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. Boy, and when you're trailing in the eighth inning, I think you need to let that one hit you. Two zero pitch, a fastball inside, and he's struggling here. It's three and zero, and this is the potential tying run up there. So you got to make him swing the bat here. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. And he's saying, "Give me a break." I mean, that's right there. I'll tell you though. Complaining like that's only going to make that strike zone tighter. Edgar Renteria will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And he'll throw over to first. Has to dive, but he's back. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And if he can get through this last guy here, he'd qualify for a hold and have it set up perfectly for the closer in the ninth. And a fastball swung out and hit in the air to left. Over for it is Manny, and he puts it away to retire the side. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Marlins lead it 3-2. to two. Steve Holm will come into the ballgame as a defensive upgrade.
Fudge Rodriguez will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. deep down that left field line heading toward the foul pole. Lewis is back though as he makes the catch on the track for the first out. Boy, it's important to hold serve here in the bottom of the eight, so that's a good job of getting the leadoff guy right there. They need to keep that deficit at one before they take their final hacks in the ninth. John Baker will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 21. Sean Baker. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. And this has been a well-played ball game. No errors on either side. Bases are empty, one man out. Now here's the pitch. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. And a good two-strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. And now maybe he'll use that high fastball to set up a curveball. Low for a ball as he battles back from down 0-2 to even it up at two balls and two strikes now. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. From 0 and two to three and two, he is really making him work out there. Hit hard to short, taken by Renteria. Throw on to first, two gone. Hanley Ramirez will get another shot now, two for three in the game. Gets under it a bit as this is hit high in the air out toward left center. Lewis is right there, and he will put it away to retire the side. Nothing across here this half. Ninth inning coming up. The Marlins on top. Three to two. Coming in now in the ninth to try and finish this one out, the hard-throwing Francisco Rodriguez. Pablo Sandoval will dig in, looking for hit number three in the ballgame. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. And these guys would love to see the bottom of the order get some offense going. All right. And good patience here from Sandoval. It's 2-0 and now. And he's not going to swing at borderline pitches. He knows what his assignment is. In there, two and one. Ooh, and the ballpark just held their breath on that one. That was right down the pike. Ow. Swinging is Sandoval as he sends this one on the ground to shortstop. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Well, this is how you want to close things out. He comes in to start the ninth and immediately gets a ground ball out. 
Travis Ishikawa will get another crack, one for three thus far. The slider from K-Rod gets him ahead 0-1. And sometimes when you haven't seen a guy, you might want to take a pitch to gauge him. But he let a pretty good one go by there. One out, nobody on. Ah, he comes up empty that time as he's underneath it, 0-2. This is a guy that won't back down from a challenge. He'll come right at you up in the zone. Slider, good two-strike pitch, but it misses one and two. And now that curveball has to be in the back of your mind here. He hasn't even seen it in this at bat. And ring him up. Strike three called on the fastball, and there are two gone. Ball's been made for a pinch hitter here, and there are few better to turn to than this guy. Tony, the former Tiger, Tony Clark, moves into the on-deck circle. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. And if he can finish this one off, that would be save number 19 for him on the year. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. fastball and that ran in on him as he had to limbo out of the way that time and you're definitely not trying to put the tying run on base so there was no intention with that one ready with the 2-1 and he can't catch the corner here so he's behind three and one and this is not the guy you want to lose Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. A diving effort there by Ramirez, but he can't quite get there. It's a base hit. Emmanuel Burris will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. Too low with the curveball. One ball, no strikes. And if this isn't a great baseball game, I don't know what is. A runner on first with two away. 1-0 pitch now. And, oh, that looked on the outside corner to me, but I'm only a broadcaster. It's 2-0. Oh, Frankie, you just got job there. That's a strike. <laughs> Left a change out there for him, but he missed it 2-1. And, and when you're down 3-2 late, you've really got to up the focus at the plate. is pulled down the line to first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Good job to lock another one down here. Make that six for six in his last six save opportunities as he's been a rock at the back end of the bullpen.
Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond the call of duty here in this one. He's our upper deck player of the game. Six strong innings, Matt. I was a little surprised they pulled him so soon, but nonetheless, the bullpen did his job and got him the victory. So that'll wrap things up here tonight. For Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB 09 The Show. Join us on the web at MLB09.com. The Marlins win it 3-2. A post-game highlight package is next, so until next time, good night from South Florida.